Hello once again welcome back to my channel this is Victor Uniform number 3 Zulu Alpha Gold Surage here. This is a short video on ATU 100 tuner assembly and testing part. First of all I will start with measuring the pre-assembled capacitance value of the tuner part. As per my observation only the 1000 pf capacitor seems to be reading a different value that is around 480 picofarad. So starting with L2 and L3 I'll be using the 6 mm driller bit and I'll be winding 4 turns and 7 turns for L2 and L3 respectively. The next inductor need to be wound on T682 toroid that is already provided in the kit. L4 and L5 needs 8 turns and 13 turns respectively. I have wound all the toroids in clockwise direction. Now next one is L6 and L7. L6 and L7 need to be wound in such a way that the two toroids stack one above another. It's a bit tricky but it can be done. L6 requires 13 turns and L7 requires 19 turns respectively. And now I am removing the insulation. The binocular core came along with the pre-wounded enameled copper wire. The only thing I need to take care about is the center conductor wire. I have used two pieces of RG58 coaxial cable of 2.5 cm each. I will be using the center conductor of the coax after removing the outer shield and outer covering. And now it's time for soldering the coils. Legs of the relays came slightly bent. After straightening it, we can directly fix it into the PCB and solder it out. Now soldering the remaining components.
There are also options available for ATU, Bypass and ATU Auto Mode. I'll be using two momentary switches to access these features later. Here's the OLED. Make sure that the pins of the OLED matches. It's not a straightaway connection. Now let's start our smoke test. So it's turning on, not an issue. To check out the tuner, I need to give an RF input. I'll be using SO239 instead of SMA connectors as my other equipments are all on standard SO239 port. I'll be using micro SDX transceiver for uh, testing this particular tuner. First of all, I will do the testing part with uh, the tuner connected to my existing EFSW coupler. Now I'm uh, shorting the tune button that is manual tuning. As you can see, it is giving a very good uh, SWR match. So it seems to be working fine. The power reading is also as per expected reading. Now the next, reconnecting the tuner directly to a long wire. very nice uh, it's able to perfectly tune and match the SWR as per requirement so that's it from my end thanks for watching 73 and bye bye